Blessed is our God, always now, and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope. Glory to you, O heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, who art in all places and fill all things, the treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us from every stain, and of your goodness save our souls. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. You heard me when I called, O God, of my righteousness. You strengthened my heart when I was in distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long, O sons of men, will you be slow of heart? Why do you love vain things and seek after lies? Know that the Lord bade his Holy One wondrous. The Lord will hear me when I cry to him. Be angry and do not sin. Have remorse upon your beds for what you say in your hearts. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and hope in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us good things? O Lord, the light of your face was stamped upon us. You put gladness in my heart from their season of wheat. Wine and oil, they were multiplied. I will both sleep and rest in peace for you alone. O Lord, cause me to dwell in hope. O Lord, do not reprove me in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled, and my soul is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, and deliver my soul. Save me because of your mercy, for there is no remembrance in you in death and in Hades, who will give thanks to you. I am weary with my groaning. Every single night I will dampen my bed. I will drench my couch with my tears. My eye is troubled by anger. I grow old among all my enemies. Depart from me, all you workers of lawlessness. For the Lord heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord, the Lord heard my supplication. The Lord received my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. Let them turn back and suddenly be ashamed. How long, O Lord, will you forget me to the end? How long will you turn your face from me? How long will I take counsel in my soul, having grief in my heart daily? How long will my enemies be exalted over me, looking upon me and hear me? O Lord, my God, enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep in death, lest my enemies say I prevailed against him. Those who afflict, afflict me greatly rejoice if I am shaken, but I hope in your mercy. My heart shall greatly rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who shows kindness to me. I will sing to the name of the Lord Most High. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies laugh at me. For all who wait upon you shall not be ashamed. Let those be ashamed who act lawlessly in vain. Make known your ways to me, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. And on you I wait all the day. Remember your compassion, O Lord, and your mercy, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth, nor of my ignorance, but remember me according to your mercy. Because of your loving kindness, O Lord, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he will instruct sinners in his way. He will guide the gentle in judgment. He will teach the gentle his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for those who seek his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin. For it is great who is the man who fears the Lord. He will instruct him in the way he chooses. 
His soul shall dwell among good things. His seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him. And to those who fear him, his name is the Lord. And he will show them his covenant. My eyes are always toward the Lord. For he shall pluck my feet out of the trap. Look upon me and have mercy on me. For I am only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart have been widened. Bring me out of my distresses. Look on my humiliation and my pain and forgive all my sins. Look on my enemies because they multiply and they hate me with unjustified hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed because I hope in you. The innocent and the upright cleave to me because I wait upon you. O Lord, redeem Israel. O God, out of all his afflictions. In you, O Lord, I hope. May I not be ashamed forever in your righteousness. Deliver and rescue me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be to me a God who protects me and a house of refuge to save me. For you are my strength and my refuge. And for your name's sake, you will guide and sustain me. For you will bring me out from the snare they hid for me. You are my protector. Into your hands I shall entrust my spirit. You redeem me, O Lord God of truth. You hate those who maintain their empty vanities. But I hope in the Lord. I will greatly rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. For you beheld my humiliation. You saved my soul from distress. You did not shut me up into the hands of the enemy. You set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am afflicted. My eye is troubled with anger. So are my soul and my stomach. For my life is wasted with grief and my years with sighing. My strength is weakened with poverty and my bones are troubled. I became a reproach among all my enemies and especially to all my neighbors and a fear to all my acquaintances. Those who saw me outside fled from me. I am forgotten like one whose heart is lifeless. I was made like a vessel that is utterly broken, for I heard the blame of any who dwell round about when they are gathered together against me, when they plotted to take my life. But as for me, I hope in you, O Lord, I said, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your mercy, O Lord. Do not let me be ashamed because I call upon you. Let the ungodly be ashamed and lead them down into Hades. Let deceitful lips become speechless when they speak lawlessness against the righteous with arrogance and contempt. How great, O Lord, is the abundance of your goodness. You hide for those who fear you, which you will work for those who hope in you in the sight of the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the disturbance of men. You will shelter them in your tabernacle from the contradiction of tongues. Blessed is the Lord, for he magnified his mercy in a fortified city. But I said in my ecstasy, Indeed, I am cast away from the countenance of your eyes. Therefore you heard the voice of my supplication when I cried to you. Love the Lord, all you his saints. For the Lord seeks out truth, and he repays those who act with great arrogance. Be courageous and let your heart be strengthened, all who hope in the Lord. He who dwells in the help of the Most High shall lodge in the shelter of God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, You are my protector and my refuge, my God. I will hope in him. For he shall free me from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. He shall overshadow you with his shoulders and under his wings you shall hope. His truth shall encircle you with a shield. You shall not be frightened by fear at night, nor from an arrow that flies by day, nor by a thing moving in darkness, nor by a mishap and a demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. Yet it shall not come near you. But you shall observe with your eyes, and you shall see the reward of sinners. For you, O Lord, are my hope. You made the most high your refuge. Evil shall not come to you, and a scourge shall not draw near your dwellings. For he shall command his angels concerning you, to keep you in all his ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the asp and the basilic, and you shall trample the lion and the dragon. For he hoped in me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he knew my name. He shall call upon me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, and I will deliver and glorify him. With length of days, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Με θυμόν ο Θεός προτέθηκε η τάστε, ότι με θυμόν ο Θεός. Give ear all you to the very ends of the earth, for God is with us. Be defeated although you are strong, for God is with us. For even if you should be strong again, you will again be defeated, for God is with us. Then to whatever counsel you take, the Lord will scatter it abroad, for God is with us. And whatever word you shall speak, it will not continue among you, for God is with us. But do not be afraid of their terror, nor be troubled, for God is with us. Sanctify the Lord himself, and he shall be your fear, for God is with us. So if you trusted him, he shall be as a sanctuary for you, for God is with us. I shall wait for God, and I will trust in him, for God is with us. Behold, I and the children God gave me, for God is with us. A people who walk in darkness behold a great light, for God is with us. And you who dwell in the country of the shadow of death, upon you a light will shine, for God is with us. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, for God is with us. And the government will be upon his shoulder, for God is with us. And of his peace there shall be no end, for God is with us. His name will be called the Angel of Great Counsel, for God is with us. Wonderful Counselor, for God is with us. Mighty God, Master, Prince of Peace, for God is with us. Father of the age to come, for God is with us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for God is with us. Both now and forever, and unto ages of ages, amen. For God is with us. God is with us. Know this, O Gentiles, and be defeated. For God is with us. Having passed the day, I give thanks to you, O Lord, and I ask of you to grant me the evening and the night without sin. O my Savior, and save me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now that the day has gone by, I glorify you, Master. I ask you to grant me the evening and the night without sin. O oh, my Savior, and save me. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Having traversed the day, I sing hymns to you. O oh, Holy One, I ask of you to grant me the evening and the night free of plots. O oh, my Savior, and save me. As a bodiless nature, the cherubim ever glorify you with unceasing hymns. All the six winged beings, the seraphim, also highly exalt you with endless voice. The, in the entire array of angelic hosts sings its praises of you with thrice holy hymns. You, O Father, existing before all things, have your Son unoriginate with yourself. And the equally honored Spirit of life, thus you show that inseparable are the three. O all holy and virgin, Mother of God, and you servants and witnesses of the word. With the choirs of the prophets and martyred saints, all of you enjoy everlasting life. Intercede in great earnest on our behalf, 
in as much as we are all in dire straits. So that all of us, freed <coughs> now from deceit of the devil, may sing the angelic hymn. Holy, 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 thrice holy Lord, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit to Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. In the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Holy Lady Theotokos, intercede for us sinners. O Holy Lady and Theotokos, intercede for us sinners. O Holy Lady <laughs> and Theotokos, intercede for us sinners. All you heavenly hosts of holy angels and archangels, intercede for us sinners. All you heavenly hosts of holy angels and archangels, intercede for us sinners. Saint John the Baptist, prophet and forerunner of our Lord Jesus Christ, intercede for us sinners. Saint John the Pro Baptist, prophet and forerunner of our Lord Jesus Christ, intercede for us sinners. Holy, glorious apostles, prophets, martyrs, and all saints, intercede for us sinners. Holy, glorious apostles, prophets, martyrs, martyrs and all saints, intercede for us sinners. Devout God-bearing fathers, shepherds, and teachers of the whole world, intercede for us sinners. Devout God-bearing fathers, shepherds, and teachers of the whole world, intercede for us sinners. Saint John of San Francisco, intercede for us sinners. Saint John of San Francisco, intercede for us sinners. O oh, invincible and indestructible and divine power of the precious and life-giving cross, do not abandon us sinners. O oh, invincible, indestructible, and divine power of the precious and life-giving cross, do not abandon us sinners. God be gracious unto us sinners. God be gracious unto us sinners. God be gracious to us sinners and have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. O Christ, my God, lest I sleep to death. Bless my enemy, say I prevailed over him. Glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O God, be the protector of my soul, for I walk in the midst of many snares. Deliver me from them, and save me, O gracious one, as a good friend of man. Both now and ever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Since we have no standing because of our many sins, urgently plead with him who was born of you, O Virgin Theotokos, for the pleadings of a mother have much weight toward the favor of the Master. Do not overlook the pleas of a sinner's, O most venerable one, for he who condescends to suffer in the flesh 
is merciful and has the power to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Greater and honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and our truly theotokos, you do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let's worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let's worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions. And in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be clean. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. Do not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humble heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall I offer young bulls on your altar. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not turn your face away from me. In the day when I am afflicted, incline your ear to me. In the day when I call upon you, hear me quickly. For my days vanished like smoke, my bones burned up like firewood. I was cut down like ground, so my heart became withered, for I forgot to eat my bread. Because of the sound of my groaning, my bones have cleaved to my flesh. I have become like a pelican in the desert. I have become like an owl in a ruined house. I kept watch. I have become like a sparrow alone on a housetop. My enemies reproached me all the day long, and those who praised me swore against me. For I ate ashes like bread and mixed my drink with weeping because of the wrath of your countenance and your anger. For you lifted me up and broke me down. My days were far spent like a shadow, and I am withered like grass. But you, O Lord, remain forever, and your remembrance is from generation to generation. When you rise up, you shall have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have compassion on her, because the time has come. Your servants took pleasure in her stones, and they shall have compassion for her dust. And the Gentiles shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord shall build Zion, and he shall be seen in his glory. He who guarded the prayer of the humble, and he did not despise their supplication. Let this be written for another generation. And the people who are created shall praise the Lord. For he looked down from the height of his holy place. The Lord looked upon the earth from heaven. 
to hear the groaning of those bound, to set free the sons of the slain, to declare the Lord's name in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples and the kingdoms are gathered together to serve the Lord, he replied to him in the way of his strength, declare to me the fewness of my days, take not away in the midst of take me not away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. In the beginning, O Lord, you founded the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. They shall perish, but you shall remain, and all things shall grow old like a garment, and like a cloak you shall, cha you shall change them, and they shall be changed, but you are the same, and your years shall not fail. The children of your servants shall dwell there, and their seed shall lead, be led to prosperity forever. O Lord Almighty, the God of our prophets, Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, and of their righteous deeds, who created the heaven and the earth with all their adornments, who bound the sea by the word of your command, who shut up the abyss and scaled them with your awesome and glorious name, whom all things dread and before whose power they tremble. Because the majesty of your glory is unbearable, and the threat and the anger of war against sinners is unendurable, yet the mercy of your promise is both immeasurable and unfathomable. For you are the Lord most high, compassionate, long-suffering, and all-merciful, and relent on the wickedness of man. You, Lord, in the multitude of your goodness, promise repentance and forgiveness to those who have sinned against you. And in your infinite compassion, appoint your repentance for sinners, that they may be saved. Therefore, O Lord, your God is the power. You have not appointed repentance to the righteous, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who have not sinned against you. But you have appointed repentance for me, the sinner. For I have committed more sins than the grains of the sand of the sea. My transgressions have multiplied, O Lord, my transgressions have multiplied, and I am not worthy to look up and see the height of the sky for the multitude of my swift iniquities, being weighed down by many iron chains, so that I cannot raise my head. There is no rest left for me because I provoke your anger and commit an evil before you, not having done your will, nor having kept your commandments. And now, O oh Lord, I bend the knee of my heart to teach in your goodness. I have sinned, O oh Lord. I have sinned, and I have not of my transgressions. But I beg you and ask you, forgive me, O oh Lord, forgive me. And do not destroy me with my transgressions. Do not be angry with me forever. And keep my evil from me. And do not condemn me to the depths of the earth. For you are God, the God of those who repent. And in me shall you show all your goodness. For even though I am unworthy, you shall save me according to the multitude of your mercy. And I shall praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For every breath of heavenly power sings your praises and your and your glory. And for the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for all the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forth the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy, O Lord, have mercy on us. For what cannot be contained in our own sickness? We sinners, offering you this supplication to you, as Master, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us, for in you we have put our trust. Be not exceedingly enraged with us, nor remember us in our many iniquities, but look upon us even now, being compassionate, and deliver us from our enemies. For you are our God, and we are your people. All of us are the work of your hands, and upon your name we have now called. Both now and forever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Open the gate of compassion for us. O blessed Theotokos, for hoping in you, let us not fail in our aim, though you may we be delivered from our adversaries, for you are the salvation of the Christian race. 
Lord of mercy, 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 Greater in honor than the cherubim, and glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You, without corruption, gave birth to God the Word, and are truly the Theotokos. You to be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Come, let's worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let's worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let's worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. O God, give heed to help me. O Lord, make haste to help me. May those who seek my soul be dishonored and shamed. May those who plot evils against me be turned back in disgrace. May those be turned back immediately who shame me, saying, Well done, well done. May all who seek you greatly rejoice and be glad in you. And let those who love your salvation always say, Let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. O oh God, help me. You are my helper and deliverer. O oh Lord, do not delay. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication and your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter to judgment with your servant, for no one living will become righteous in your sight. For the enemy has persecuted my soul and he has humbled my life into the ground. He has caused me to dwell in darkness as one long dead. And my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old. I meditated on all your works. I meditated on all the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faints within me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for in you I have set my hope. Make me know, O Lord, the way and wherein I should walk, for I lifted my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. <clears throat> For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of affliction. And in your mercy, you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, and we thank you for your great glory. Lord, King, Heaven, God, Father Almighty, Only Begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. Lord God, the Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Accept our supplication, you who sit at the right hand of the Father. And have mercy on us, for you are the only Holy One. You are the only Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every evening I shall bless you, and I shall praise your name forever. And to ages of ages, Lord, you have become for us a refuge from generation to generation. I have said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. With you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Grant, O Lord, in that this night we may be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. And praise and glorified is your name unto ages of ages. Amen. Let your mercy, Lord, come upon us just as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy remains forever. Do not turn away from the works of your hands. To you belongs praise, to you belongs to him, to you belongs glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for the glory of your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of the 
powers be with us. For in times of distress, we have no other help but you, Lord of the powers, have mercy on us. Praise God and his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. O Lord of the powers, be with us. For in times of distress, we have no other help but you, Lord of the powers, have mercy on us. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Lord of the powers, be with us. For in times of distress, we have no other help but you. On us. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the harp and the lyre. Lord of the powers, be with us. For in times of distress, we have no other help but you. Have mercy on us. Praise him with timbre and dance. Praise him with strings and flutes. Lord <laughs> of the powers, be with us. For in times of distress, we have no other help but you. with resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Lord of the powers, be with us, for in times of distress we have no other help but you. mercy on us. Praise God and his saints. Praise him in the ferment of his power. Lord of the powers, be with us. For in times of distress, we have no other help but you. mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. O Lord, if we did not have your saints as intercessors mm -hmm. and your benevolence being compassionate towards us, how mm -hmm. would we dare to extol you, O Savior? The angels bless unceasingly. O Master who knows our hearts, we pray you to spare our souls. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, my offenses are indeed very many. To you I run, O pure maiden, and I pray for salvation. Visit my infirm and ailing soul and pray for me to your Son and our God to grant to me forgiveness for the evils I have done only, O Blessed Lady. O, 
O all holy Theotokos, during my lifetime, I pray do not abandon me, nor entrust me to merely human protection. Rather, you help me yourself and have mercy on me. O Mother of God, I've committed my every hope wholly unto you. Keep me under your <coughs> shelter. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. O Christ our God, who at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and on earth, are worshipped and glorified, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and compassion. You love the just and show mercy to the sinners who call all men to salvation through the promise of the blessings to come. Do you, the same Lord, receive also our supplications at this present time and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our minds aright. Clear up our thoughts and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and distress. Surround us with your holy angels so that being guarded and guided by their presence, we may arrive at the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your ineffable glory. For blessed are you unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Greater in honor than the cherubim and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. May God have compassion upon us and bless us. May the light of his countenance shine upon us and may be merciful unto us. Amen. O Lord and Master, my life, take from here the spirit of sloth, meddling, lust of power, and idle talk but give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to your servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own sins and not judge my brother, for you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Uh, holy, holy God, holy, mighty, <coughs> holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. O spotless, unstained, incorruptible, undefiled, pure virgin, Lady Bride of God, who through your wondrous birth giving united God the word with mankind and linked the fallen nature of our human race with the heavenly, the only hope of the hopeless and the help of the persecuted, the ready support of those who seek refuge in you and the shelter of all the Christians, do not despise me, the wretched sinner who have defiled myself with shameful thoughts and words and deeds, and through negligence of thought have become a slave to the pleasures of life. But as the mother of our compassionate God and as a friend of man, have compassion on me, the sinner, and a prodigal, and accept this prayer from my impure lips, and using your motherly standing, entreat your Son and our Master and Lord to open up unto me the depths of his love and kind goodness, and overlooking my innumerable faults, to return me to repentance and make me wor a worthy servant of his commandments. Stand by me forever in this life as a merciful and compassionate and good and lovingly warm protector and helper by repulsing the assaults of the adversary and leading me toward salvation, and at the time of my death by embracing my miserable soul and driving far away from it the dark faces of the evil demons, and at the awesome day of judgment, by redeeming me from eternal hell and proclaiming me an heir of the ineffable glory of your Son and our God. May I enjoy such a fate, my Lady, most holy Theotokos, through your intercessions and protection. 
Through the grace and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, to you belong all glory, honor, worship together with his beginningless Father and the all-holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. And grant to us, Master, as we depart for sleep, rest of body and soul, and preserve us from the gloomy slumber of sin and from every dark and nocturnal pleasure. Arrest the drives of passion, extinguish the burning arrows of the evil one, which insidiously fly in our direction. Suppress the rebellions of our flesh, and calm our every earthly and material thought. And grant to us, O God, alert mind, prudent thinking, sober heart, light sleep, free of any satanic fantasy. Awaken us at the time of prayer, rooted in your commandments, and having unbroken with us the remembrance of your ordinances. Grant that we may sing your glory through the night by praising and blessing and glorifying your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious ever virgin, blessed thou thou go, spring our prayer before your Son and our God, and entreat him through you to save our souls. The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the Holy Spirit is my shelter. Holy Trinity, glory to you. The Mother of God, I have committed my every hope wholly unto you. Keep me under your shelter. Irini passi, peace be with all. Get of Nematisu. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. Most merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through the intercessions of our pure Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, the holy glories and all praise for the apostles. Our forefathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregor the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius Cyril and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas the Bishop of Myra, Spiridon the Bishop of Trimithus, Nectarius of Pandopolis, the Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious and Great Martyrs, George the Triumphant, Demetrius the Merflowing, Theodore the General, Theodore the Soldier, Minas the Wonder Worker, of the priest martyrs Haralambos and Lefterios, of the holy and great women martyrs Thakla, Bavardas, Anastasia, Ekaterinis, Kiria, Kis, Fortinis, Marinis, Pariskivis, Irinis, Ephemia, of Saint Sophia and her three daughters, Faith, Hope, and Love, of our holy and God bearing fathers, of the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim, Anana, of the saints, Batius, the wonder worker, Bishop of Gangara, the Venerable Akakios, the Confessor, Bishop of Mytilini, the Prophet Joel, Innocent, Metropolitan of Moscow, Enlightener of the Aleuts and Apostle to America, Jonah, the Metropolitan of Moscow, the Martyr Makhluf of Sidnaya in Syria and of all the saints. Accept our prayer unto you. Amen. Grant us forgiveness of our trespasses. Amen. Protect us into the shelter of your wings. Amen. Drive away from us every evil and adversary. Amen. Grant peace to our life. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us and upon your world and save our souls that you are good and love mankind. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Father bless. May Christ, our true God, through the prayers and intercessions of his pure and blameless Mother, the holy righteous ancestor, God, Joachim, and on of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us for his good and loves mankind. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Lord, have mercy. For all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Yerasimus. Lord, have mercy. And for our nation. Lord, have mercy. For the armed forces. Lord, have mercy. For absent fathers, brothers, and sisters. Lord, have mercy. For those who help us and those who serve us. Lord, have mercy. For those who hate us and those who love us. Lord, have mercy. For those who have 
asked us to pray for them, unworthy though we be. Lord, have mercy. For the release of captives. Lord, have mercy. For those who are traveling. Lord, have mercy. For those who are laid up with illness. Lord, have mercy. Let us also pray for the abundance of earthly fruits. Lord, have mercy. And for all our fathers and mothers, sisters and brethren, depart this life. Those who lie here in peace in the Orthodox everywhere. Lord, have mercy. Let us also say for ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. All those who for refuge flee with faith unto you, O good one, you shelter beneath your mighty hand. We, your servants, have no other intercessor like you, always praying to God for us in, da in dangers and sorrows, sinners that we are bent down because of many misdeeds. Therefore, we fall prostrate before you, Rescue us from every affliction, since you are the mother of the Most High God. Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This evening, of course, it's Monday night, and we celebrated the service of Great Compline. It is a service that is typically exclusively done during Great Lent. However, the service of Compline, Apodipno, after the meal, uh, can be done anytime throughout the year. In fact, many people, many Orthodox Christians, every night before they go to bed, they read uh, and pray the service of the small apodipno. The great apodipno, the difference between the two is very, very simple. There are more prayers and more uh, hymns in the great apodipno, in the great compline, than there are in the small. One of the unique things that are in the great apodipno is the Latin prayer of Saint Ephraim the Syrian. This prayer we hear throughout Great Lent and Holy Week. It is a very, very introspective and a very, very important prayer because as we journey through Great Lent, it is the hope and prayer of the church, the guidance of the church, that we will slowly get rid of, if you will, bad habits and acquire good habits. Uh, it's not enough to get rid of the bad. You have to replace it with something good. So the void has been filled, that, that part of us that was experiencing whatever passion it was uh, is now replaced with a positive thing, a thing that draws us closer to God and deeper to ourselves. Uh, we've called that today mindfulness. It's this uh, concept that if you slow down a little bit and think and reflect upon who you are and try to be a better person, um, you will. But mindfulness it only can take you so far because what mindfulness doesn't often have is the relationship with Jesus Christ, which links us to a, a deeper well, a, uh, a better source of light and life. So what does the Latin prayer of St. Ephraim say? And I'm going to go over this very, very quickly tonight, but it's, it's very, very important. It is three lines. O Lord and Master my life, Take from me the spirit of sloth, meddling, lust of power, and idle talk. So these are the things that we are praying to get rid of. Sloth is not a word that we hear too much today. Uh, it, in classical English, I would guess it would mean, uh, the closest word is laziness. But sloth, uh, in the Greek text, but it had years, I think it is, uh, speaks to something a little bit different than simply laziness. Slothfulness, what St. Ephraim wants us to excise from ourselves, is this sense of hopelessness to change, 
In other words, you're sitting there, you're feeling bad, you're tired, you uh, have gone through half of a great Lent, and you say to yourself, you know, I really haven't changed that much. I really don't have the energy to change. Why even try? So what we want to do is get rid of that spirit of spiritual laziness, if you will. Get rid of this hopelessness and, 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 and excise that out of, our, out of our heart and soul. Let's not look at the negative, but as we'll see later, to look to the positive. So slothfulness is this spiritual laziness. Uh, take from me the spirit of meddling. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, sometimes it's translated as gossip, I think, in the Russian text. But it's this idea of looking around at everybody else, trying to judge them, trying to say, oh, this person, they're not doing the right thing, or that person over there is not doing the right thing. You know, the focus of our spiritual life is on the self, on the inner person. So get rid of the spiritual laziness and get rid of worrying about everyone else. And this, it's okay to be a little selfish. And think about, how am I doing spiritually? What am I doing that uh, is helping me along the path to a closer relationship with Christ? And don't worry about anyone else. Lust of power uh, is, again, this willingness, this desire, if you will, not willingness, but desire to want to be over and above everyone else. One of the, uh, uh, the great lessons that our Lord taught his disciples is if you want to be my follower, if you want to be a follower, I mean, you have to be a servant to all. And we have that beautiful scene of Jesus washing the feet of the apostles at the Last Supper. He says, do you know what I've done to you? He says, you call me teacher and Lord, and that is correct because I am. But if I'm willing to wash your feet, you must be willing to wash one another's feet. So there is no desire of dominance over another human being. And unfortunately, we do see that. Uh, in the world. And the last thing is idle talk. It's, it's not even gossip here. Idle talk is just talking for no reason at all but to hear your voice or to have a conversation with someone and not really talk about anything. And we have to be careful with that as well because idle talk, uh, this uh, just willing to, or the, the, the desire to fill up uh, the, the void of no noise, often leads to negative things because you run out of things to think about to say and that's okay sometimes it's good just to be quiet saint isaac the syrian great saint of our church says words are the language of this life silence is the language of the next so get rid of those things get rid of sloth get rid of uh meddling lust of power and idle talk but give rather, replace those things with a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love. Now, the first word here, chastity, is sophrosini. This does not mean uh, being chaste in only the sexual sense. This is a whole-mindedness. In other words, not only am I to uh, be pure, but I'm supposed to be pure in how I carry myself in, in public, how I carry myself around my home, how I think, what I watch, what I read, the words that I use when I talk. These are sophrosini, having a wholeness to us, a godly wholeness to it, that we think about how we are speaking with one another, how we are acting with one another, how we are engaged with one another, how we if you will, judge one another. When you see someone, what do you think? What do you say? What is really thinking in your heart? And it's easy to judge other people and say, oh, this person's bad, or this person's a sinner, or this person's not as good as I am. No, being, uh, being chaste in mind says they're a creation of God. They're cre God's uh, image and likeness. The spirit of humility. Now, the word humility... H-U-M-I-L-I-T-Y. The middle letter is I. Pride, P-R-I-D-E. The middle letter is I. The middle letter, uh, sin, S-I-N. 
The middle letter is I. So pride, sin, and humility all come back to I. How am I acting? Okay? Humility is not lowering your head and letting people uh, just smack you around and treat you horribly. Humility is an understanding of who you are and more importantly of who God is. So humility uh, is this sense of I am a servant of God. I am someone who is trying to relate to God. I'm someone who is trying to pray for God. And in that relationship, I understand that God is, is great. God is all-knowing. God is uh, all-merciful, all-loving. And I'm just trying to fit into that. It's a sense of understanding that God is there for you that God hung upon the cross for you. And that is humbling, that is sweet, that is joyful, and it should move us at times to tears. That's true humility, understanding who God is and what he did for us. Patience, um, it's something that we need so much today in this world that we are patient with one another, willing to put up with one another. And today especially, uh, with the sheltering in place, I'm sure in many, many families, uh, your patience may be stretched a bit thin. But, that's, uh, but it's a godly thing to stay patient. It's a godly thing to uh, accept the fact that people are, are human beings, they make mistakes, as I was growing up, our parish priest in Cincinnati, Ohio, Father Constantine used to say to me, goes, uh, he was from Greece, he goes, Tom, people are people. And uh, any time there was a problem in the community, uh, he would just go, people are people. And uh, he accepted the fact that they had their problems, their issues, and their struggles. And he was so patient and kind with them. And uh, there was, he, he just witnessed great patience. And finally, he also witnessed uh, great love to the community. And that's the last thing that St. Ephraim asked from us, is to get the spirit of love and acceptance. And for those of you that watched the Super Bowl this year, you saw that commercial about the different words that the Greeks have for love. This love is, is agape, this selfless uh, love that... Uh, is totally forgiving, accepting. It is a godlike love. So we get rid of the bad, we accept the good. Um, and then the prayer closes with, Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own sins, not judge my brother, fear blessed into the ages of ages. Amen. If we can take this prayer and make it part of who we are, uh, as individual Orthodox Christians, what a witness that will be to our families, to our friends, and to our community. Our prayer is to be and put into practice the prayer of St. Ephraim the Syrian. God bless you. Good evening. We will continue uh, uh, broadcasting the services, and I know tomorrow at 3 o'clock, Father Nick will have a gathering with the Goyans on Thursday uh, 3 o'clock with the Joy Group, 7 o'clock Thursday night. He'll be meeting with the parents with the lesson he sent out. And something new, I think it's 4 o'clock on Friday, that the Goya from uh, Holy Resurrection in Castro Valley and our Goyans here in, uh, in Oakland, here at the Ascension Cathedral, are going to have a joint uh, Zoom gathering. So enjoy that. Continue to look for the email blast. If you have not bit, uh, signed up, Go to the church's website, ascensioncathedral.com, and get on our email list and look at uh, the church's Facebook page for more information. God bless you, and good evening.